The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Morning Markets Kickoff with your host, Tommy O'Brien. Now, Tommy O'Brien. Ready? Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien with Tommy O'Brien. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Say happy Monday. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. What do we got, Tommy? We got stocks. Where are they this morning? Stocks. What color are they? They're in the red? They're in the red. They're in the red. And that's Target. That looks like Target red, doesn't it? Did you show them all your shirt? What's your shirt say? What's it say? Welcome to the jungle. Welcome to the jungle, folks. That's right. Welcome to the jungle. You tell them? Welcome to the jungle, folks. Welcome to the jungle, folks. We're ready. Okay. So we got Tommy. He's in the chair again. He's ready. He's got his computer. This man loves to work. You love to work, don't you? You love working in Daddy's office? He's doing his numbers, folks. He's doing his letters. Let's jump into the market action this morning. Went to bed last night. Futures in positive territory by about 20, 25 points. Yeah, about 10, 30, 11 o'clock last night going to bed saying, hey, um, maybe we're getting a little bit of a reversal here. Off of the recent lows, we're pushing 43.50. Gentle, please. Not quite the case this morning as markets roll over to negative territory. We have given up, folks, 45 S&P points from where we were trading at last night at 3.30 in the morning at 43.54. We're inching towards 4,300 right now. That's a 10-minute chart. We back this up on a daily. Okay, and there's your action. Now, what's ironic is I was looking at this last night. And I was saying, is this the acceleration? You know, is this? Because is this is this the acceleration, Tommy? I'm doing my. Heart. You are doing yours. You're doing great, buddy. I'm doing yours. That's right. I got mine. You got yours, huh? We got two computers here. We're doing it. And what I found myself saying last night, as this bar had yet to take shape, was. Now we got two TVs. Oh, we got two TVs. Isn't it great, Tommy? Isn't it great? We got four TVs. We got work TVs. They're called monitors for the computer. They call water TVs. Monitors, yes. And do you have McQueen and Mater too? Uh, oh, there he is, Lightning McQueen, Disney. a Disney property, folks. Uh, what I found myself saying is, man, we just traded from forty-five sixty-three, and that's not even cherry picking the highs back here, forty-six hundred and change. Okay. We back out here. We just traded from almost 45.75. What's our high there? 45.66 down to a low of 42.77. So you're talking about almost 300 points. And we got a few days of a reprieve. And things are starting to accelerate yet again to the downside as we are off 15 points in the S&Ps. And that is after giving up some of the gains that we had overnight. So be careful in this. We've been talking about on this program, folks, when you take a look at a little bit of longer term picture, okay, whether you're backing things up to an absolutely remarkable. How about the fact that you got to go back a year to that spike low of 3,500? Does that seem like 12 months ago? Time is amazing. Does not seem like 12 months ago. And I appreciate you bearing with me, folks. Um, we had a little bit of COVID in the house late last week. Early this week, still potentially. So throwing a wrench into things a little bit. Uh, everyone's doing great. But a little bit of isolation, um, just to be careful. And that's the reason why Tommy's been joining me for a little while. So he's having a blast. We're going to get him on the program more often, no matter what is going on, because he's a happy camper. And uh, we're going to we're gonna think of maybe doing some specific segments that is what we'll talk about in terms of bringing Tommy on, talking about toys, talking about kids, talking about McQueen. YouTube, talking about McQueen. Lightning McQueen. McQueen. When's the next Disney McQueen. movie coming out uh, for Cars? When's Cars 4? When's Cars 4 coming out, Tommy? Huh? We've been watching Cars 3 with Jackson Storm. That's a good one. Cruz Ramirez. If you know, you know. But it seems like they need another movie. They did come out with a series. Uh, but nonetheless, we jump around. I've been talking about on this program, okay? You take the two different trends here on a Fibonacci basis. You look at the one-way trip. Gentle. Gentle on the computer, please. We are now sitting right at the 382 of the pullback from the one-way trip of March 13th. So that's an interesting, important area that we're sitting at. That also correlates to the gap we got in June in the markets, okay? 
Do you have a draw on this one? No, I don't. Okay. Let me make sure. Hold on. Gentle, please. Gotta make sure I have a computer after this program. Oh, there we go. I couldn't figure out what was going on, and the, the laptop was on my desktop. Appreciate you bearing with me, folks. Yeah, so here's the one trend that we're sitting at the 382 right now. That 618 lines up to about 4140. You take the spike low of 3500, you throw that into the same trend to the higher level, and you're talking about the 382 brings you about 4200. When we started talking about this, we were 200 points away. We're now only 110 points away from that price level. Not out of whack, man. And that is an, a perfect area, technically, on this chart, where it was an area of resistance. It has turned into potentially an area of support if you make it back down there. Uh, but nonetheless, it seems like there's a lot of pressure to the downside. We kick off October trading. You back things up on a monthly basis. And we got a little bit of a, of a reversal to kick things off. But where are we going to go next? Let's take a little bit of a picture of... Daddy! Yes, Tommy. Hi, buddy. Hi. Uh, crude. 95 bucks of the price yesterday. I know. Do you see this? This is the price of crude, Tommy, for gasoline. Yeah. We're sitting at 9104 up 25 cents. We jump over to gold. 1853. Gold struggling recently. We jump over to the dollar index. As you'd expect, dollar strength yet again pushing 10650. That's almost the highs of last week and we jump to the conversation of the time. Yields going higher yet again. Seems like we got a little bit of a reprieve for a few days last week and just like that, we're pushing 4.64% on the 10-year right now. And we're only one Thursday spike away from recent cycle lows. We're at 107.20. You're off 14 ticks on the 10-year right now. The 30-year is off 21 ticks. Even the two-year trade lower. These are mammoth moves on the two-year on a short-term basis, man. Uh, jumping over to that yield curve for a moment, we have the two-year right now at 5.1%, up six basis points, man. Six points, that's a huge move on the two-year on a 24-hour basis. As you're just seeing the constant shift to higher yield on a short-term and longer-term basis. All right, we got a treat today, folks. So if you were listening to my dad's program on Friday, he talked with our man Peter Bruno. Peter is going to be beginning a new program today, 2 p.m. Eastern time, okay? Live 2, 2 till 3 p.m. Eastern time. Um, Peter's been around the business for some time. He has 55 years' experience, okay? He did a radio program on the same program, um, excuse me, on the same station that was my, my dad was on out here in certain markets that they were in. Uh, nonetheless, we're privileged to have him. I'm excited for it. The Wall Street Money Hour kicks off 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern time today. That'll be live every market day. I'm looking forward to that first program. Did it turn off? There it goes. It's back on. Uh, so that's going to be at 2 o'clock today, folks. Check that out. Give Peter um, your attention. And uh, see if what he's talking about is up your alley because he talks about cycles. He's got uh, some great methodologies that he goes through. And, yeah, it's uh, it's it's exciting. We'll have some live programming in that 2 o'clock hour leading into my dad's program at 3. But we got a whole day to go ahead of that, man. We got markets in negative territory. We got 15 minutes to go until the opening bell. We're going to be talking some Tesla when we come back as they're talking about deliveries in the third quarter beating expectations. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, 
you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago. And the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien joining me today. Uh, we got markets kicking things off in red territory. S&P is off by 10. NASDAQ 100 barely off by 12 right now. You got the Russell off by 5. You have... We're back, Tommy. That's right. And we're going to jump to Tesla, Tommy. Tesla. Tesla shares dropping about $7 in the pre-market, even though they beat on deliveries is the headline out there. 435,000 deliveries versus 430, yeah, exactly. basically was what the market was looking for there. During the previous quarter, Tesla reported total deliveries of 466 and production of 479. During the same period, they beat that number in a big way, uh, but not quite what the market was looking for, I guess. Wall Street was expecting Tesla to reach 461 deliveries for the period. They come in at 466. But they're, uh, they're trading that stock down 7 bucks as volatility persists on Tesla shares back to almost the lows of last week, which is 234. I talked about an article last yeah. week. That Tesla, awesome. the most shorted stock by market value in the market and the most volatile in dramatic fashion in terms of how many shares are traded as well. You trying to get your paint, buddy? Here's your paint. What you doing? Yeah. Oh, what's that? Okay, what else do we have going on? Let's talk some rates again. Can't get away from them, man, okay? First, uh, you have higher rates starting to hit the U.S. profits. That's Goldman strategist warning, okay? This article out this morning as of 7.33 in the morning. So, not exactly record-breaking news. No, you guys sit there for the show, okay? But guess what? We got a drink, and what do we got, folks? You know what? We got a treat. We got a treat, Tommy. Of course we got a few treats to make it through the hour, huh? We already had breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? You want to tell them? What do you have? Do you have a waffle? What do you have? We got to get some, we got to get some merchandise, um, some I product. Fell. I fell out of the seat. No, you didn't fall out of the seat. You're fine. You're sitting right there. Everyone sees you. Say hi. Look, there you are. See, you got to sit down. Look, you got to sit down. There you are. There, there's the man. Look at this little tiger shirt. Rah. Hey, 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 sit down, please. Sit down. You're doing so good. Yeah. Do you want to turn on your YouTube? Were you watching dinosaurs? Oh. Oh. Oh, what's that? 
And I do appreciate you hanging with me, folks, um, as we jump around. Like I said, you know, you make um, you make do in. in... Oh, what's that? Are they going? There they are. They're moving. The brontosaurus. <clears throat> so check out some of these yield numbers. That's not a brontosaurus, he tells me. He knows he's right. Um, it's amazing how many things you'll say when you're around a child that you think are correct, and you're just generalizing. I said brontosaurus. That's not a brontosaurus. He's right. That's not a brontosaurus. Huh. What was it? Was it a raptor? No. No? What was it? Yeah. Oh, that's a brontosaurus. There it is. Oh, that's a brachiosaurus. Brachiosaurus. This is what I'm talking about, right? No, that's not a brachiosaurus. That's a brachiosaurus. Is it? No. Yeah. What? A What are you doing, mister? That's, that's brachiosaurus. Brachiosaurus. Yeah. So check out the borrowing costs. Tommy, we're going to talk some bro. Ooh, look at those. Borrowing yeah, costs for the S&P 500 Dad. companies. We'll see if we can make it through. Dad, He's a trooper. Dad. One segment Dad, I think is going to be perfect. Dad, now we'll be right back. No, we're not going away just yet. Don't you have a fun time on the show, Tommy? Do you have? Yeah. Do you have a fun time on the show? He wanted to be in here all weekend, practically, folks. In my office, had to drag him out of here because he wants to work. He loves it. So for decades, falling interest costs and greater leverage have accounted for nearly one fifth of an overall overall eight point eight percentage point increase in the return Dad, on equity. Dad, Dad. Oh, that's in P500 turns. Yeah. Tommy, we got to do a little bit of work in our show. Hey, I tell yeah, you what. what no, that's why I put you in here today. Hey, do you want some Pringles? Oh, Pringles. Yeah, sure. should we have a little snack? Let's see if we have Pringles. Excuse oh. my reach. Oh. You want Pringles? Yeah. Now, like I said, it's not a real big snack household, folks. We, we keep things in protection. We say clothes. Those are yours, huh? We always make sure we have breakfast first. We eat a lot of fruit. We eat a lot of yogurt, vanilla yogurt. Tommy loves the vanilla yogurt. We eat blueberries, strawberries. Bananas are a big one as well. Mac and cheese, peanut butter and jelly. Uh, but occasionally you have a few snacks. Everything in moderation in life, folks. Um, so to recap that one again, because this is a real number I want to go over. For decades, falling interest costs and greater leverage have accounted for nearly one-fifth of 8.8 .8 percentage points increase in return on equity. So the return on equity has gone up almost nine percentage points. And over that time, that's been 20% of that has been made up for leverage, okay? In the new higher for longer rates environment, the key risk for S&P 500 return on equity will be higher interest expense and lower leverage. Shouldn't be too surprising. A scenario in which interest expense, interest expense and leverage persistently weigh on return on equity would be a departure from the historical trend. Okay, now what you have up here is you have the S&P 500 forward return on equity in the black, and you have the price of the S&P 500 in red. Seems like we might need a recalibration to the lower end there if that's the case, okay? Ooh, what's that? That's a big dinosaur, Tommy. Look at that. What's that? Two big dinosaurs. Now, what they do talk about here is that, you know, strategists have started to look at some of the stocks that have done pretty well, man. Some of those yes. stocks, talking about the ones that are I not as vulnerable. I want my T-Rex. You want your T-Rex? We'll go get him at the break, okay? He's out there. we got to wait for the break. we got about three minutes, and we'll go get your T-Rex, okay? You're talking about companies like Cisco, Costco, Paychex. We're hanging in there, folks. I appreciate it. I want my T -Rex. We have to wait for the break. We I got about. Want my I know, but we got to wait for the break. We got a couple minutes, okay? No. Oh, look at those. What are those, Tommy? Should we show them some of your dinosaurs? Let's show them what you're looking at. Want to see what he likes looking at, folks? Now, this is amazing. This is a game. You see how. What was it? Twitch, right? That's right, Tommy. So, what he loves watching is the Jurassic World video game, which I'm not even sure where it is. But... Look, there it is! Yeah. So, what he loves watching is... And we're going to have to get you on this video game, huh, buddy? Look at all these good dinosaurs. 
We're going to get through an ad real quick. So here is kind of a brief glimpse of, of the type of videos. And it's cool. Oh, Isn't that yeah. cool, Tommy? Are we showing them? I want that. No. That's a cool one. Oh, no. I want that back over there. So this must be... I want that back. You want that back? Which one? This is Jurassic World Evolution 2. I believe that's a game. And look at it. They just go over all the different dinosaurs. Can you pronounce that for me? Carcharodontos? John Carcharo... Dontosaurus. Carcharodontosaurus, Tommy. Carcharodontosaurus. That's right. Carcharodontosaurus. That looks like a big one, huh? Oh, there's two of them. Uh, the cool part is you learn about the dinosaurs. They talk about the names. They have them featured there. A lot better than some of that crap programming the kids get lost in. And they get they get lost in it in YouTube. I want that back. Yeah. All right, folks. We're coming back for the market open. We're coming right back. Tell them we're coming right back. We'll be right back, folks. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more, and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Enjoying those Pringles, Tommy. Welcome back, folks. We got the S&Ps down by 10 as we kick off the trading month of October. You got the NASDAQ right now off by nine points. Dow off 85. The Russell off by seven. We jump over to Tesla on some of their delivery news. Not living up to quite the expectation. We'll get you more Pringles, buddy. We got Tesla shares off 2.5% this morning trading at 244. 
Oh, we got to get McQueen. Here we go. Let's get McQueen, folks. Can't can't be without Lightning McQueen and his and his good friend Mater, Tom Mater, huh? There we go, Tom Mater, huh? Yeah. Have a few have a few chips, a few snacks in the morning for nine o'clock in the morning, folks. Now you got to realize we're up at about six o'clock in the morning. Um. Okay. Now, let's jump around to some of these articles. We've been talking about rates. The interesting part is that was just a Goldman analyst when we were just talking about what? Higher rates starting to hit the U.S. profits. Goldman strategist, excuse me, not analyst. Um, David Costin, okay? Notable to some degree. Goldman sees earnings led rally in big tech stocks after the route, okay? I was trying to get the name on this one. So this is just strategists. No, this is Costin as well. Yeah, including Cormac Connors and David Costin. Okay. Now, what they talk about here is that the valuation gap versus the rest of the S&P 500 is wide. History bodes well for tech stocks to outperform. Well, that shouldn't be too surprising. Okay. Uh, but they just had a tough year. Uh, excuse me, a tough month. The sell-off has led to historically cheap valuations for the tech stocks at a time when earnings estimates are still rising. In particular, they point to a valuation metric known as the PEG ratio, which calculates price relative to earnings and long-term growth. Goldman's analysis shows the largest seven tech stocks have a PEG ratio of 1.3 compared to 1.9 for the median S&P 500 stock. I want this one. I want this one. Which one you want? The dinosaurs? Oh, that one. Okay. Hold on. I got it for you. That's a good one, Tommy. I got to play an ad, of course, first. Oh, there you go. Yeah, this is a different one. Under that one. These are all live. Under that one. That one. Yeah. Oh, is that King Kong? That's King Kong. The divergence between falling valuations and improving fundamentals represents an opportunity for investors, okay? And there is the ratio that they're talking about there, the median. That's the PEG ratio, mega, tap, mega cap tech versus the S&P 500, okay? And you're looking at it where, I mean, what do you got to do? You got to go back to what, 2012, 2013? So interesting nonetheless. Overall, analysts expect tech, tech earnings to rise 4.3% in the third quarter compared with a year earlier. I mean, it's big numbers. All right, what else we jump into? How about uh, commodities? Just, just seeing how the ripples of everything going on impacts far-reaching areas of the market. The UAW strike hits demand for steel. Lower demand for auto steel adds pressure to tumbling steel prices. So the reverberations felt pretty much everywhere in this market. And uh, this one, we're going to see how it plays out. The Hollywood writers, they seem like they potentially have a deal. But when do we get that news potentially on the auto workers? Not sure that's going to be the case anytime soon. Interesting article out here from the journal over the weekend talking about consumers should be spending less by now, but that is not the case. They kind of just have a bunch of anecdotal. I mean, now, this is anecdotal. They go over some of the specifics, okay? Americans spent 5.8% 8 more in August than a year earlier. Now, that number is what? The... Personal consumption expenditure is what they're going over there, okay? But they spent 5% more in August than they did a year earlier, and inflation was at 4%. So they're beating inflation. Consumers are beating inflation, okay? Delta Airlines, record revenue in the second quarter. Ticketmaster, selling over 295 million event tickets in the first six months of 2023, up nearly 18%. People are going to concerts. They're going on airplane trips, right? Now... What's interesting here is that they go over, and this is where it gets anecdotal, all right? They're, they're, they're cherry-picking people and going over instances. But they're interesting, and the reason why these people are spending are somewhat interesting and not very good in the long haul, okay? Um, they go over one gentleman, Ibi Hussein, maybe I'm pronouncing that correctly. He works in marketing for a financial communications firm, works in Brooklyn. He pays $3,000 a month for a property that would probably cost a million dollars to buy at current rates he'd need $200,000 down payment and $5,000 a month after that. And it's not even that nice in an apartment. Instead of saving, 
he's just going to spend it all right now. <laughs> he expected. Um, so you go from an area where, unfortunately, you're so far out of the realm of being able to afford a house that this gentleman is stopping saving and just going to live up his life by buying $1,600 Taylor Swift Eras tour tickets and then $3,500 on a bachelor party trip to Ibiza. I might as well enjoy just enjoy what I have now, he says. No fault in living like that, man. Kudos to that gentleman. One million percent. Overall in the economy, though, I'm not sure that's indicative of a strong economy if that's why consumers are spending more now, because eventually that does catch up. Right? I'll do this one. Okay. There you go. I'm going to do this one. Which one? That one? This one. Oh, you want that one? Those are Legos, Tommy. Yeah, we haven't quite gotten into Legos yet. You know, I'll tell you, folks. Tommy and I, we, we love we love Cruise and Target occasionally. We go to the toy section. We basically ditch it all before we leave there. But it's kind of like the Toys R Us experience of old, right? Target's got a pretty good toy section. Nothing like Toys R Us. It's unfortunate you never got to experience Toys R Us, Tommy. Maybe they'll come back in some form. Uh, we walk around. We have some fun toys um, at Target. They got a good deal going on at Target right now. Haven't, a haven't accessed this deal yet. But if you are looking for toys... For what you doing? Dad, Dad. Hi. Hi. If you're looking for toys, even early in the holiday season, so I think what's going on is Target is always trying to compete now with Amazon Prime, et cetera, right? Prime's got some type of a sale going on. They got so many sales now on Amazon that I can't even keep track. They got some sale going on October 10th and 11th. Let's see. There's probably going to shove it in front of my face when I pull it up. Nope. I just went to the Amazon homepage. This time, they have not put it in front of my face. But nonetheless, they have a big sale coming up. So what will happen is occasionally you have Target and Walmart beat them to the punch a bit. So they have a deal going on for the next week. If you spend $50, you get 10 bucks off of toys. If you spend $100, you get $25 off of toys. So if you can go in there and find $100 and not blow out 200 to 250 you got your juice? You got your drink? Oh, tip it this way. There you go. It's a pretty good deal, hundred dollars spent, and that just started in October. So you spend a hundred bucks, you get twenty-five off. Uh, not a bad deal. You got kids, you got grandkids, you're locking in some potentially Christmas shopping because it's starting, man. Right, we're coming into fall. Thanksgiving is next month. Christmas is the month after that. What What's that? That's your bath. That's your bath bubbles, huh? Toothbrush. Your toothbrush. So I pulled up Amazon, of course, and now he's got everything on Amazon that we usually purchase in terms of our order history. All right. We got the markets in positive territory. We catch a little bit of a lift. We're going to be coming back. We still got a lot to talk about, folks. We're going to do a little bit of a speed round as we jump through some of the action. We're going to talk about Rivian. How about Rivian? They're losing $33,000 a car. Thirty grand a car. For every car they produce. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Directions Daily S&P 500 Bull and Bear Leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. 
A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. Some great discussions going on in the den. And listen, I can't fault, you know, you're young, man. You got, you know, no family, no kids. Once you have a children, folks, and you got hold dependents. Your drink. It's, hold your drink. Hold my drink. Cheers. You want cheers? Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Cheers them. There you go. But akin to, you know, the ski bum traveling. What's it? I mean, this guy's working in marketing in, in New York, so it might not be exactly the same deal that he's just blowing oh, out. Got drink. He's going to 16. Oh, you see yeah. that drink? He's going to $1,600 concerts. <clears throat> He's going to $3,500 Ibiza trips. Not exactly like uh, oh, being a bum, a ski bum. But oh, you see again. that drink? Should we get that? That's a nice That's a nice cup, Tommy. You like that? Let's show him. Let's show him what we're looking at, folks. We're going to do a little bit of product review. Tommy, if you're looking for a cup for a two-year-old out there, we might get you one of these, buddy. That's, that's something we could take some water with us on the road, right? Maybe to the beach. Uh, we'll see, but he's liking the he's liking the trucks cup. That's what popped up there on Amazon. So that's what we're checking out. Uh, Camelback, one of the great brands out there for sure. So I'm sure it's well made. Jumping back to some of the other examples in this article. I want to see a cup. I see a draw. Isn't that nice? I see a draw. You can do your paint right here, okay? There's your paint. Here it is. Ready? There's your paint. Which one are you gonna do? Now. Check out some of the other examples in here, which is why I'm like, come on, man. Really? These are the anecdotes of people spending more. There's more than this going on out there. But if this is the real deal, and I, I don't I don't know, it's just interesting that you cherry pick a few people and these are the people you choose. So we had our gentleman, Ibi Hussein, who's out there blowing 1600 bucks on Taylor Swift tickets and spending 35 bucks on 500 bucks on a bachelor party trip. And I don't blame him for not wanting to save 200 grand down and five thousand dollars a month to live in an apartment that he thinks is not nice. Come to Florida, Ibby. Come to Florida, man, right? I mean, this is what's going on, okay? I got friends in New York, I'm from Boston. It blew my mind, folks, almost 20 years ago. When I moved down from Boston area to Florida and found an apartment in Largo, Florida, what, three miles from Clearwater Beach. Is that good, Tommy? Chug it, baby. And, uh, I was paying just about $500 a month for that apartment. Does not, I had a pool in the complex, right? These are things that matter. Now, what they also talk about is the travel boom. Well, here's the next example. Um, a couple who's, the wife I just quit her job to help again. care for their eight-year-old son. Again. We see it, Tommy. Hey, no yelling, please, okay? So she quits her job to help care for the eight-year-old who has special needs. Man, that is a tough situation. I see so top. you got to make some I tough see choices. Top. Yeah, you see the top. I see the top. They all on the beach too. 
But then it goes on to say that we didn't have the money and we were like, let's just do it anyway. So they booked a $10,000 vacation, including a thousand, three $1,000 last minute tickets, 10 nights at a four star $400 hotel. And uh, they canceled yeah, some so subscriptions Drake. and cut back well, on. So Drake. I finished my drink, Tommy. Thank you. So they're somehow yeah. spending $10,000 on a vacation yeah. last minute. Oh, hey, we got it. We got it. Everyone's watching us. You want to see? Let's see us. Come here. No, no, no. I got to use the mouse. I got to use the mouse. That's your mouse, Tommy. Yeah, we're going to find us, okay? Where are we? 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 No, I have to control my mouse. That's your mouse. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, buddy. Is that good? Oh, what do you got? You got Spider-Man? Oh. Uh, and then they go down the line to one more example that you have... Spider-Man. Yeah, this Spider -Man. one's not Spider-Man, Tommy. You got off a... Let's go over here. That's it. That's an, you know what Google does very well, folks, that's frustrating to kids is they uh, they have promoted videos, right, that look like a video. They got some of the best thumbnails in the game. Of course they do because they're paying for that promotion. We'll be right back. Oh, look, it's a fire truck. I want Spider-Man now. Look, it's a fire truck. I'll go get Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Let's see if we can find him. Oh, what do we got? Trucks? Uh, fire. Okay, we're going to jump around. Let's go to Rivian. Uh, you get the point. People are overspending. Uh, that last one in there was just that they're booking basically vacations that they can't afford even after that one. Okay? You have, um, yeah, a couple that decide to sell their home, travel the country with two young children. Uh, nonetheless, the point's been made. So we jump to Rivian. This one is interesting, man. So this one, out this morning as well, from the journal, Rivian's quest to build the ultimate truck burns through billions. Now, this is a lesson in patience. Okay, here's Rivian, down to 20 bucks earlier. You take a look at a longer-term chart. You go public and push this thing up to 179. I remember joking at the time, saying, can you imagine going on the program Shark Tank and saying, I'm pre-revenue, I'm pre-revenue, but um, I'm looking for an $80 billion valuation, okay? That's what this company was doing. They went to the public, and they said, we're pre-revenue. They said, we got to deal with Amazon, though. And we're pushing, it's still a $22.7 billion company, okay? And it was trading at what? Yeah, it had to be. If it was at 180, I mean, even taking 120, okay, because it got above that for a month, but if you put this thing on a daily, no, it's got to go back further, wow. So it was up above 120 for only four or five days, okay? But even 120 puts this thing at almost a $100 billion valuation, let alone whoever was buying this thing at 179 pre-revenue, pushing, what, 150, $160 billion valuation? Yeah, be careful when you, you're buying into a company with that valuation that has not even taken in revenue. We're not talking about profits. We're talking about revenue, okay? Now, what they talk about here is, man, these cars look awesome. Zero to 60 in three seconds. Um, $80,000 is the average. I want my Spider-Man. Yet they're so expensive I to build. I want my Spider-Man now. I yeah, we're going to try and find Spider-Man. You're doing so good. I know. You're hanging want, in there. I want my Spider-Man. We're finding him. Look. Ready? Here he goes. Oh. Which one? Oh. Which one do you want? Huh. We want the real Spider-Man. The real one? We want the bicycle. Oh, what about that one, Tom? Is that no. Mosasaurus? That's Mosasaurus. What about that Spider-Man? Oh, what about these? Look at that. Oh, what about that one? Is that a shark? Oh, uh, that's a shark. So they're losing $33,000 on every vehicle that's sold, selling them at $80,000. Uh, it's roughly the starting price of a base model of the Ford F-150 in terms of how much money they're losing per vehicle, okay? I want my Mosasaurus. Investors piled in. I want in. my Mosasaurus. You want your Mosasaurus? I know. You're hanging out, buddy. Huh. I want my Mosasaurus. Well, we got to wait. We got to we'll get them at the break. We got all our dinosaurs in the living room. Oh, Tommy, here it comes. It's going to eat the shark. They're going to eat it. Oh. Oh. Is it going to eat it? So in two years, Rivian has blown through half of its $18 billion in cash. But Daddy, look! Yeah, be careful of this. Daddy, look! Did he get it? Wait, he took off the hook. Oh, he took it off the hook, I know. 
So at the end of June, Rivian had only built a total of around 50,000 vehicles, a fraction of what other companies are building, of course. Um, and it aims to produce 52,000 vehicles this year. There's your share oh, price that we just covered. The, the IPO we was $78. And be careful we of that equity. The are they gonna, you want to start the volume? Okay, we'll start the volume. Folks, we got one more segment. Thanks so much for being patient. Come on back and don't forget about the Wall Street Money Hour. Two o'clock live today with our man Peter Bruno, the inaugural program. Check it out at two o'clock. We'll be back to finish up the program, folks. Stay tuned. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We got markets jumping around with the S&P right now, negative by seven. NASDAQ climbs to positive 58 points. We jump over to the big dogs. Apple shares, check it out, right? Up 1%. That'll put a lift in the market. Microsoft up half a percent this morning. We jump to Tesla on their deliveries, clawing back a lot of the losses. Still off almost 2%, though. NVIDIA, the oh, AI poster boy. Did you put my T -Rex? I did. Tell did him. You put my T -Rex? I did, but I put your T-Rex right here. And which one's this? Show them. Elastomosaurus. Elastomosaurus. That's the Elastomosaurus. This is the T-Rex, folks. We got it all going on. Jurassic World. I was saying to my dad even last week and during the program, pretty remarkable. You have Jurassic World that they corner the market on, on dinosaur toys, right? They get a cut of everything. Jurassic World. Meanwhile, we're just buying T-Rexes, but somehow they're Jurassic World T-Rexes. I stay um, here. I, I want my pterodactyl. You stay here. We'll get the pterodactyl after the show, Tommy. We're almost done. 
folks, I appreciate the patience of tuning in. It's an interesting one. Uh, like I said, we got a little bit of COVID in the household, so babysitter's not as easy. Daycare, of course, not happening when you got COVID everywhere, no matter what. Um, yeah. Hey, last, you want your drink? Okay. So it's been an interesting few days, and we're going to create a time slot for Tommy on the program, but I appreciate you hanging in with me for the hour because there's only so much we could do. But guess what? This afternoon, as I mentioned, we got a brand new program. Our man Peter Bruno, 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, folks. So right before my dad's program, check it out. I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, I think we're very fortunate to have Peter in that time slot, filling that time slot from 2 till 3, the Wall Street Money Hour. And Peter has 55 years' experience, folks. He founded the Institute of Wall Street Studies in 1978, offering public seminars to empower investors with knowledge. He deals with cycle analysis, okay? He deals with artificial intelligence, allowing the power of those cycle analysis to go forward. He has the Wall Street Money Letter, which is going to be available on TFNN as well. That's a weekly publication. But check it out today, folks, 2 o'clock till 3 o'clock Eastern Time. He'll be there live, and uh, you can call in, ask him questions. Uh, looking forward to another voice added to the TFNN lineup. Live programming all day today, folks. We got it back. S&P's off by 6. NASDAQ in positive territory. Say bye, everybody. We're done. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.